Good morning kids, it's Karen Lee coming from my living room in South Berwick for Karen Reads. Have a couple of books for you again today. I'll start with one by Jane Yolen. She wrote Ms. Berlin Walks that we read a couple weeks ago. And she's the one who's written over 400 books and the one whose parents were both writers. So she just assumed when she was a kid that everybody became a writer when they grew up, which is what she became. She loves chocolate cake, remember that? And um, the woman who illustrated her book has won two Calicots, so she's won two big prizes. And she lives in Portland, Maine. And her two favorite things are her red bike and the library. And she feels like bikes and libraries take people places with the least amount of waste. So she loves bicycles and libraries. And she loves biking to her library. Okay, the name of the book is Baby Bear's Books by Jane Yolen, illustrated by Melissa Sweet. When I wake up and before I am fed, please will you read while I sit on the bed. The first book's a wild book. My day has begun with bears bouncing madly and having much fun. I know all the words, so I'll say them right out. I'll whisper and growl them. I'll giggle and shout. So read to me stories of happy and after. Big books that will end with a lot of bear laughter. Oh, they have a lot of books. Now it is snack time. Some honeycomb, please. Will you read me something here under the trees? Snack time's the right time for hearing a tale. A story like honey can never get stale. Maybe a tale of a bear in a den with houses of candy and gingerbread men. Or read something gentle and happy and sweet. We'll snuggle real close on the old garden seat. She's using rhyme. I'll sit and I'll read, only pictures, not words. I'll read to Big Brother, my bee and the birds. He's got a stuffed bee that he takes with him everywhere. So he's reading to his big brother. Nap time's all dozy, a soft, cozy time. So onto your lap, I will carefully climb. And there you can meet, read me a wave rocking tale. 
as off into far away dreamland I sail. So read me a book about bears and cold streams as over the wavelets I go in my dreams. One book, then two, till I'm deep in my nap, cuddled and cradled in Mama's warm lap. We have great weather for hammocks right now. Now it is dinner time. As Mama cooks, I want to hear more about bears in my books. Hopefully his older brother is gonna read to him while his mother cooks. Read to me books about big bears who eat and drop all their food on the floor at their feet. Read to me books where the bear is a king. Yeah, mama bear makes him eat every last thing. Read to me books where Papa Bear bakes and dinners all end with some huge honey cakes. Now, after my bath, when I'm ready for bed, Here's the best time for a book to be read. I'm into my jammies. I've turned on the light. I'm snuggling down and I'm ready for night. My eyes start to close, but my ears open wide. So, so come and sit down with a book by my side. Then read to me spaceships and bear trips, and then when you are finished, when you are finished, I'll read them again. This next book called Whoever You Are is written by Mem Fox and I couldn't find out anything about her except that she's probably Australian. I'm so sorry I couldn't find out anything for sure. Um, it's illustrated by Leslie Staub who lives in New Orleans, Louisiana and has an art studio in the woods surrounded by critters. She likes creatures. Okay, whoever you are. Little one, whoever you are.
wherever you are, there are little ones just like you all over the world. Their skin may be different from yours, and their homes may be different from yours. All different kinds of homes. Their schools may be different from yours. And their lands may be different from yours. But inside, their hearts are just like yours. Whoever they are, wherever they are, all over the world. Their hearts are just like yours. Their smiles are like yours and they laugh just like you. My second book is called Whoever You Are, written by Mem Fox. And I'm sorry, I could not find out any information uh, about her except that she has an Australian daughter. So I'm assuming that she's Australian herself. It's illustrated by Leslie Staub, who lives outside New Orleans, Louisiana, and loves critters, has lots of critters, has a studio in the woods surrounded by creatures. So she's into animals. All right, whoever you are. Little one. Whoever you are, wherever you are, there are little ones just like you all over the world. Their skin may be different from yours, and their homes may be different from yours. And you can see the different homes. Their schools may be different from yours. may be different from yours. Their lives may be different from yours and their words may be very different from yours.
but inside their hearts are just like yours whoever they are wherever they are all over the world so their hearts are the same Their smiles are like yours, and they laugh just like you. Their hurts are like yours, and they cry like you too, whoever they are, wherever they are all over the world. Little one, when you are older and when you are grown, you may be different. And they may be different wherever you are, wherever they are, in this big wide world. But remember this. Remember this. Joys are the same and love is the same. Pain is the same, and blood is the same. Smiles are the same, and hearts are just the same. Wherever they are, wherever you are, wherever we are. All over the world. Okay, two more good books. I hope you enjoyed them. The library is now supplying me with books. So I just keep requesting and they keep fulfilling my requests. I'll see you again next time. I always love hanging out with you. Take care. Bye-bye.